Gideon Moy has just suspended Nick Salat, the Kanu Secretary General, and this is the letter that he wrote to Nick Salat confirming his suspension, and I quote, it's written, Dear Member, Subject, Suspension from Office. Then it goes on to say, this is to notify you that in the National Executive Council meeting on 15th December, several complaints on your conduct and violation of the party constitution were placed before the members for discussion. While noting that complaints on their face appeared serious, the jurisdiction to deal with matters constituting disciplinary measures lies with the disciplinary committee created under Article 34 of the Constitution. In exercise of its mandate under Article 15 of the Constitution, the committee resolved as follows. Number one, the national chairman refers your issue to the disciplinary committee as provided under Article 7.2, sub-Article A, Part 3 of the Constitution. Number two, you are hereby suspended forthwith from carrying out and stroke or performing your duties at the party's secretary general pending the determination of the disciplinary proceedings. Number three, the disciplinary proceedings are expedited and determined within 30 days from the date hereof. Yours faithfully, Honorable Gideon Moy, National Chairman of Kanu. Now in this video, I want us to analyze why it is that Gideon Moy has suspended his own secretary general days after he was implicated in the Cherera story. Now, before we proceed, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, the first reason why Gideon Moy has suspended Nick Salat I would like to imagine that it is because he undermined him in the previous election. When the story broke that Juliana Cherera and the other three commissioners were being housed at Yaya Apartments, the guest log had a list of all the people who were visiting those apartments. There was Rafael Tuju, and then there was Nick Salat and others. Now the mentioning of Nick Salat in that particular log for the hotel, for the apartment, shocked Gideon Moy because he was not in the loop. His own secretary general was part of the people who tried to subvert the last election, and he was not aware. This is the first time that Gideon Moy is hearing any of this. So Nick Salat conspired behind his back. But for me to believe that story completely, I would have to see Gideon Moy firing his own personal assistant, because his own PA also visited that particular uh, apartment. So if he fires Salat and keeps his PA, he's still involved in that particular saga. But if he suspends Salat and his PA is also removed, then you can say for sure this man was not involved. So the fact that Nick Salat took corners and was somehow involved in the Cherera scandal and in so doing dragging Kanu into all of this, Gideon Moy is not pleased and that is why he has decided to suspend him. Also, Gideon Moy wants to send a warning to his own caucus. In Kanu, a lot of the members are disrespecting and undermining the Secretary General, sorry, the Chairman, Gideon Moy. And I say this because people like Francis Atuoli, who has been a lifelong member of Kanu, decamped from Azimio and joined Kenya Kwanza. He gave Gideon Moy no heads up, nothing. Then here again, Gideon Moy is discovering that Nick Salat and his own PA were going to see Cherera at the Yaya apartments. So that is why Gideon Moy is very cross and he's trying to set the bar straight. That if anyone crosses me, if anyone undermines me, that is your end in this particular party. And what better way to achieve that than to punish your own secretary general. The truth of the matter is that he couldn't do that to Francis Atuoli. Francis Atuoli is evidently a bigger player in politics than Nick Salat. If you get rid of Francis Atuoli, who is one of the only people who are keeping Kanu afloat, then that might lead to a mass exodus and Kanu will actually lose credibility every step of the way. So Nick Salat was the best sacrificial lamb according to Gideon Moy's mathematics. Now the third reason is that Gideon Moy is trying to distance himself and more importantly his party from the incoming investigations from the tribunal. Just by Gideon Moy's PA being there and Nick Salat being mentioned there, definitely some members of Kanu are going to be subpoenaed. It's either they show up physically before the tribunal to say what they know and what their involvement was or they respond to letters and say what it is they know and how they were involved. And by the way, if you lie to a tribunal, that's perjury. It's as good as lying under oath, whether you're questioned face to face or whether you provide your answers in written format. Any lie can put you behind bars. So at this point, Gideon Moy wants nothing to do with that tribunal 
and he's trying to distance his party from those people. And that is why he's putting Nick Salat under 30-day suspension. And obviously, we all know he's going to go home anyway. It's just part of the formalities in the procedure as to how you get rid of your SG. You don't just wake up and fire them. This is part of the process. The same way a tribunal was formed to remove Cherera, there will also be a discipline committee looking into the likes of Nick Salat and anyone else who might have been under his instructions. And then, of course, Gideon Moe is desperately trying to avoid attracting the ire of President William Ruto. The two of them have been at crossroads for the longest time in memorial. When Deputy President William Ruto would go to see Mze Moi, Gideon Moi would be part of the people who are frustrating that visit. The DP, a whole DP, would go to see his former boss and friend, who is now an old, who at the time was an old man, and he would be blocked by Gideon Moi. That story circulated a lot. Gideon Moi really frustrated William Ruto, and he did so because he always knew William Ruto was a threat to his own presidency prospects. And because of that disrespect, William Ruto made sure that all Moyes went home in the last election. William Ruto went to Bomet County to campaign against Gideon Moy personally. And Gideon Moy was sent home in a very unprecedented way. Again, he sent a brigade to Rongai to send uh, Raymond Moy home. So as we speak, there is no Moy in politics. All of them went home. I even saw Raymond Moy during elections. He was complaining that they are ganging up against him. He's saying he's just one man, one member of parliament. And the UDA brigade is bringing almost 40, 30 MPs to campaign against him. So clearly that was a well-orchestrated plan of revenge to get rid of the Moys. And the Moys really felt that defeat. They were really quashed by the Rutos. And even now they're still licking their wounds. And then for Gideon Moy to open the TV and he's seeing Nick Salat <laughs> and his own PA have been incriminated in this particular story. That can put him at crossroads once more with the president's administration. And Gideon Moy comes from a family which has vast wealth. An investigation into any of those business ventures can really put his family back and in bad public limelight. So Gideon Moy has decided to punish Nick Salat to show good faith, to show that he was not interested or involved or invested or even informed about the hosting of Cherera at the Yaya apartments or his own brigade going there to conspire with those four commissioners. And a good example of any government going after private businesses because of politics is that one for Kiroche. Kiroche Breweries was seriously attacked by the Uru Kenyatta administration. They were shut down and they lost millions and billions in that short period that they were shut down. So definitely Gideon Moy doesn't want to find himself in any such predicament moving forward. Because as at now they don't have any political relevance, all they have is their businesses. That is all they are holding on to and that is all that they have been allowed to hold on to. So any mischief from them, then even that one goes. But that's just my opinion guys, do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to all right guys adios